So, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Dad. It is Snark Week. I'm not going to do this. Much. Popping collars. <laughs> it's like in 1999. Anyway, it's Snark Week. We're very, very happy that you're here with us today at the Dad Challenge Podcast. I say that's like I'm a team, but I guess, you know, Tyson's on the team. He's editing. He's having a good time. Doing a good job, I think. I don't know. Are you Tyson? Throw something up here if you're doing a good job. I think he is. Anyway, today we're continuing the Snark Fest, and that is going to be on the LeBrant fam. People have sent me this one, said, please snark on this Q&A that they've done. I haven't heard a word of it. That's how I normally roll around here at the Dad Challenge Podcast. But if you're here today and you're having some fun with the Snark Week, please consider heading over to my Teespring store and picking up yourself a Snark Week shirt. I don't know if it's this year's or last year's, or just get any shirt. That'd be great. Just help support the channel. That would be fantastic. You guys are amazing. Also, if you want to join the Patreon or the channel membership, you will get your name on a list that gets drawn once a month. You will get your name on the wheel at the end of the month, even if no matter what tier. But every Friday, I do dance, and the mid-level tiers get on that thing. And then every year near Christmas, everybody can get on the wheel. So do yourself a favor and me. Head over and do one of those things. The mods will provide links. Okay? You're amazing. Let's get going. <music> Okay, so LeBrant family is like, ew, right? Nobody likes LeBrants. These are the types of people who go to church just to go to church, like the country club version of the church. They don't actually know what the Bible says or are not really Christians at all. They pretend, but they're just not. And I've said this a million times on this channel. If you come, all these family vloggers that come across like they're Christian, you're doing it wrong. Because God would not be cool with child exploitation. Absolutely against it, actually. There would be no, there's no scriptural backup for you to be like, yeah, that guy, I think God says this, that's cool. It's not. You're wrong. You're dumb. But thanks for playing anyway. But they go to churches that like administer to their own beliefs, like, you know, wealth and prosperity churches. Cause if you want to be uber wealthy, you've got to go to a church that supports that worldview because the Bible doesn't support being uber wealthy and being super greedy with all your money. It's actually supports you giving it all away and doing good things with it. If you are a Christian, not saying you're not, if you're not a Christian, but if you are a Christian and you're super uber wealthy and you do things like these people, you're just, I'm judging you. That's what I'm saying. So I don't like these people. Nobody really does. There's a lot of layers to these people, especially the considering that there's a bio dad on the outside named Tommy who has threatened to do things in the past to try to get his daughter off the internet, but then uses his daughter on the internet. So at its core, Everly LeBrant is one of the most exploited children on the internet, and you can tell that she is exhausted and tired of this world. I guarantee you Everly LeBrant will not be continuing on with this. I don't think so anyway. I feel like she is just disenfranchised with this whole thing. These people have babies just to put them on the internet and get big paydays, but then Everly LeBrant, who is nine, I think maybe 10 now, is the one who ends up parenting parenting her siblings and it's just so damn sad have you ever seen this kid it's so heartbreaking she does pop up in this video uh, for a little bit i think because i was scrubbing through and i saw her there and i just figure out how to like you know crop her out in case she's in there but let's take a look at what these people are answering the questions that they're answering i'm sure they're going to be really good welcome back everybody to another awesome awesome video uh that's that face you make when you see something you don't like going Right, you're all out with your friends, and they happen to invite someone you didn't like. You're like, what? Who invited her? <laughs> and you're just there at the bowling alley like this. Just, you know, you're determined to not have a good time because that person there is killing your vibe. That's the LeBrants. Um, it's just Q&A. I feel like we haven't done a video in a while. We haven't. No, it's been, it's been quite some time. Wow. Lucky for us. As you guys know, we had baby Sunday born. Um, By the way, they named their kid Sunday. Great. Great. A month, almost a month and a half ago. Yeah, six weeks ago. And we've just been enjoying summer, and so we were able to upload, you know. Uh, so is New Baby Sunday off with the nanny now, or what? That's a newborn. How do you have time to sit here and look like that? Um, her birth and all the stuff that we, we always do and we, that we love to do, but kind of since then, it's just been a chill, fun family summer. And, is it? Um, we don't want to force content, which is what some of these questions are. So we're going to do it. <laughs> Your whole shit is forced, dude. Look at you. Look at her right there. Does she look like she's having a good time? These people look like they're invested in their program and their show and their questions. We need some money. Like we want to make sure the algorithm doesn't like leave us behind. Q and A. <laughs> we feel like there's just so many questions out there right now that we just want to talk about. Okay? Right, except the questions you don't want to answer. Which is all these people when they all do these Q and As, they always ignore the most important Q and As. Like if you get bits of Brie on the pan up phone, hey Brie, no hi, just calling to check in on you in Ohio. Hello, hello, hello. No, I heard you sold the house and stuff. 
right? I was just talking about this idea that like people on the internet, they when they do their Q and A's like you do, like you you do like a Q and A every other week, right? But you never answer the question every once yet. <laughs> like they know about the divorce and everything else, but you're never gonna talk about it, right? The Q and A's like. All the Q&A questions that come through are ones you're never going to answer. Instead, you're like, Brie, how do you make a, how do you make a sundae out of ice cream? And you're like, oh, let me show you. And no, you, no one asks that question. You know what I'm saying? No, that's what I'm saying. They're saying. No, right. That's what you do, too. I know. It's, I, I was getting to that. I'm sorry. I should I just should have said it. I should have just said it. I know. Well, I hope everything's going well. No. Yeah, they're here. Well, you want to say something? Oh, she said to tell you guys haters to piss off into the sun, but that's my line, but I'll let you use it this time, okay? <laughs> you have a good one, okay? Aloha, mahalo. <laughs> this is almost like a conversation with you guys, to the fact we just haven't chatted in a while, so. Uh, okay. So I screenshotted a ton. There's a ton out there, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm surprised he has an iPhone 12, like, low-level phone. Go through them quick though, so we what can all, answer them. Yeah, yeah, we'll try to keep most of them fast and short instead of like long drawn on answers. Yeah, thanks for that right. 21 Actually, minute video. That I screenshotted them in. There's no specific order. Okay. Ready? Yeah, sure. All right. Is that's someone barfing in the background? <laughs> we have a babysitter downstairs. With the Do you? Not a babysitter. They have a nanny. They have literally a full time nanny who probably does everything for them. Everything. Cooking, cleaning, taking care of their kids while they get up here with their hair and do videos like this. That's what they have. So don't let them. We have a babysitter. Come on. The kids, because we haven't been able to film this video for the past month, just because we're like, okay, maybe we should. Actually we don't believe you. Actually, hire someone to come watch them so we can actually get this. We time. keep saying we're gonna film uh, like literally the past month. We're like, like we'll do it during nap time. And then it doesn't happen because like one of the kids doesn't take a nap or like just something else happens. <laughs> No one believes you. Stop lying, you liars. That's against the Bible. They are like, everything's get dropped off or just, you know, if anything. Okay, like, oh, we wait. got it. And I'm like, okay, we'll film it at 8 o'clock. You still have time to go to the gym and shit, though. Put all the kids down. Yeah. And then 8 o'clock happens every single night and we're so tired. Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay, now we're get to the damn question, a-hole. <laughs> all right, first question. What makes your family thrive so well together? <laughs> Can't wait to hear this one. Oh. That's good question because we don't thrive together. What did we give you the impression that we thrive together? Oh, I'm sorry. That's just for the video. It's fake. So no, we don't thrive together. We actually all hate each other. All right, the kids hate when the camera's out. We just we hate each other. So sorry, you guys are mixed up. Very kind. That question. is very kind. <laughs> mm -hmm. We are not perfect. We are far from perfect. Mm -hmm. Good sir. Also, people always ask. <laughs> He's like, um, where are you going with this? Are you gonna no whistleblowing? No whistleblowing. All the time going off this. Do your kids fight? Yes. All the time our kids fight. <laughs> so I just wanna say that. We always yeah. That's not what they're talking about. We're always like, on, like filming our kids yeah, like fighting. Exactly. Oh you don't? Like we film doing everything else. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna post them fighting. They do fight, but they yeah. have special cute moments also, and those are the ones that you guys see. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the ones that we plan to show you. Yeah. Um, how do we thrive? Um, but just making sure that Don't. I... Hey, Ed. Everybody's speaking in. We're filming a video. Uh, you can come in for <laughs> questions if you want with us. You don't have to. Like, I don't really. No, thanks. If you don't want to. Okay, the, the vibe I'm getting off of, like... Ooh, I just get the creepy vibes. So I'm not saying that he's in... Like, I don't think that Cola Brand is, like inappropriate in any way. I absolutely don't think that. But I don't think it's the father figure that he puts across at all. I think it's more like the friend dad, right? The mom's boyfriend <laughs> still, even though they've been married for like a hundred years. It's still that vibe because she still has Tommy, who is her biological father. Everybody keeps forgetting that there's this biological father that absolutely loves his daughter. He sees her a lot and is in the picture. And then it's Cole just sits there is like is like the third wheel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, can come, you can leave if it's boring. Lord. You want to come to the Q and A? <laughs> We're asking what makes our family what, thrive what so well. What makes our family thrive so well together? <laughs> think our, what does thrive mean? Like do well. Priorities, and I think they cut it out. They <laughs> didn't let her answer. What thrive mean? Well, we are cohesive. We we're, we're good together. Oh well, that's we're not. Oh, we have to cut that. Cut that, editor. Cut it. I think that um, whenever our priorities get out of whack, sometimes our family. They didn't let her answer. Out of whack. Yeah. Yeah. So like, if we make sure that like Jesus stays at the top, when that we're like our relationship with Jesus is good, and that and then that our marriage is good, and we're like parenting the same, we're getting along well. And then so again, here they go with the Jesus stuff. Like just because you wear WWJD. Uh, here's my here's my experience. The Christians I grew up with who wore WWJD bracelets were like literally the least Christian or the most confused about what Christianity was. They were the most legalistic, they were the most like, 
fundamental. They were the ones who didn't, you know, waver on the, they were the ones that like hated everybody. It's really weird, right? I wore a WWJD bracelet because it was cool. I remember going to, what was it called? Cornerstone Festival. Everybody had a WWJD bracelet. But I was just, I wore it for a fashion thing. It's more fashion. But if you wear one of those things, but your whole channel is dedicated to exploiting children, exploiting other kids who have cancer, exploiting homeless people, I'm sorry, but your bracelet makes you look worse. And our relationship with our kids is good. Yeah. You know? It's like keeping yeah. the important things the important things, which is hard to do. So, yeah. let's see. Any more kids? Thanks for the non-answer. Got it. It's a big question. Any more kids? Um, no. Please say no. Please say no. She said no, right? Listen to Everly. She knows. She's like, no, nah, I don't want to take care of any more kids. Like, these people, look at these people. Do you think these people take care of their kids? No, she does. <laughs> I don't know either. She's like, I'm just going to stay. I don't know either. People actually get mad about this. I it's know. funny because, like, because oh. you exploit them. So, yeah, you use kids and pregnancies for huge paychecks, and everybody sees it. That's the thing. That's what we're people are upset about. You exploit kids from the, like, before they exit. The areas like for months before from the moment you pissed on the stick you've exploited this child they probably have instagram pages ready to go as soon as they're birthed remember everly lebrant's analytics were the ones that blew this shit wide open and then we looked at other people's that are even worse but hers are terrible and they have not ever said a word about the amount of men who are watching their little daughter on instagram they've never addressed it out of like our comments like people actually get genuinely like worked up and it's funny because I feel like four kids I would, like I would love many. to have one more eventually. Well, we'll just see how the algorithm hits and see where our numbers are and then we'll figure it out. He probably would be good yeah. with four. It's too soon to tell right Everyone now, Everyone probably doesn't care. I'm acting like she's like in a She cares. I promise you this kid cares. Marriage? <laughs> <laughs> and you do so awkward. If you have another kid though, might look like me. So I'd say go ahead and try because look at this. Do, um, too sexy for my plastic hand. Any new projects, like your awesome one about abortion. <laughs> it's like, we should go look at the like ratio on that video. It's probably one million to nothing. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, that video netted them. They said they didn't monetize it. They did. Uh, but where is it? The documentary. There it is. 4.3 million views. Holy smokes. Look at this downvote ratio. I don't know if you can see that. 444,000 downvotes to 85,000 upvotes. That is the biggest ratio I've ever seen on the internet. That is insane. And of course, this should turn the comments off. Wow. That is a ratio. If you guys are wondering what a ratio is, they got massively ratioed on that. So this is, let's see what else they got down the pike. Projects. Me and Everly have a new project. Oh, who is you? Yeah. No need. Everly and I. Not me and Everly. Everly and I. Documentaries right now. We aren't filming like any night. That's that's where my head went. Nothing, yeah. nothing like that. But they have a good because yours sucks ass. Pretty good. We're running. doing something kind of fun together, huh? Yeah, that'll be cool. This, does this kid look at, like she's like, yeah, I hate you all. That kid to me, and I have a very happy Everly. Her name's Everly. Same exact age as this Everly, by the way. Like almost to the, I don't know. Mine's very similar in age. What I'm saying, like within months. Okay, my daughter is one of the most happy children I've ever seen in my life. She's so happy. I'm not saying I take credit, but I sort of take credit. We are a happy family. We joke around a lot. Everly is brilliant. She's smart. She's kind. She's a good artist. She's a happy girl. I'm looking at this Everly, and I'm like, this kid is so unhappy. And I know we're just seeing this video of her sitting down, but she's uncomfortable in front of the camera. And this kid has lived her life in front of the camera. So what does that tell you? Okay, next question. Is Ev going to be homeschooled? We homeschool and love it. My daughter is the same age as Everly. Yes, Everly is gonna be homeschooled. We decided on homeschooling. She's pumped about it. What are you most excited for her to be homeschooled about? Um, nothing. Staying home from school. That's what she's more excited about. Staying home work, yeah. And learning what? I hope you're, I hope the next, we're hiring a really good teacher because we don't know things at all. How are you going to do a full-time account of YouTube and that's how you, this, remember, this is how they make their money, everybody. How are they going to teach her things? They're not smart. She, saying, she's always been asking us the past she's, year too. She's been begging for probably a couple years now, but I just wanted her to try everything. We wanted her to try public school, then we tried private school. She liked them both. What's wrong with private school? She was just like, I want to be homeschooled. I want to hang out with you guys more and just... Well, and, and, and it's a little funny because like, I've seen some comments that are like, you guys are forcing your kid to be homeschooled. No, I would never force her. I'm it's like, going to be more work on me. I, I know that. <laughs> Why would we force her? 
<laughs> why would we force this kid that we exploit for tons of money and force her on videos and prank her and all these things make her cry when we pretended we were going to give away her dog? Why would we force her? You guys are so silly. Like, what do you mean? What, what gave you the impression? Well, here's what I'm starting to see is that maybe Everly does want to be home from school because maybe Everly is being bullied because of who you guys are. Have you ever given that? Anybody thinking of that for a second? Maybe she's having a hard time at school because of her parents. This is one of the main reasons that I talk about this. The kids, forget the privacy, forget all that stuff. What you put on the internet really matters because those kids are internet savvy. They're going to look you up. They're going to find everything about your family. Jess Fam's kids, I did a video, look at the disgusting things she's saying, churches, and I did it under the bleachers. We did it at tennis courts, but behind our house at the playground, our kids play. Like these things will be found. Your entire life from the moment you were birthed is on the internet. Everybody can see those videos and they can use it against you if they want to. This is something that they're not going to talk about, but I think it might be going on. <laughs> Say it. She got like handcuffs behind. <laughs> we are letting her. We and it's obviously gonna be more work on Savannah just yeah. around the house. What are you gonna do, Cole? What do you do, buddy? Like, what? But we're, we're excited. Yeah, we're excited for it. Um, you have a newborn, and you have a full time YouTube job and Instagrams for everybody else. How they make their money, and you're going to educate your daughter when you're not even really educated you think this is going to be good for everly everybody no i'm excited about it but so yes she's gonna go two days a week to is it, is it called i think it's called like a hybrid program yeah correct me if i'm no, wrong you're probably wrong yeah but so she's gonna go twice a week to a school um and then the other three days all from school it's a really cool it's a really cool program yeah she's super yeah. excited about it there's Friend like a little like study so basically she's gonna get her learning for the two days that's what's gonna happen because at home She's going to be in vlogs. She's going to be taking care of the other kids. She's not going to be able to do school. Impossible. You guys are likely the type of parents anyway that just let her do whatever she wants. Are you really going to sit down with her for six hours a day and do school? Really? Maybe she's like, I need to learn some shit. Paul, she gets to go in for a lot of her friends are doing this exact same thing where they're homeschooled, yeah. but also going to go to the two days a week. You know, just free up for a lot, a lot more family time. It's a I don't know what you said there. Um, she's, she's looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, but basically, she wanted to be homeschooled, number one, so we're, I am letting her. Number two, so on her dance days, she is gone for a long period of time. Three days a week, she goes straight from school to dance. It's like all day long, so we feel like we just like didn't see her for three days a week, which is sad. Mm -hmm. um, Put her in less dance. She doesn't need to be a dance three days a week. Put her in less. So I'm she, just loves dance. She, she loves dance. She loves it. going to dance. I need to throw it out there. I know people are going to be like, hey, no, she loves. See, everything he says is okay. Well, you've said that. Now we have to rebut what we think the haters are going to say. No, you're the parents. You make the choices. If you feel like you're not seeing your daughter enough, cut back on the dance. Don't bring her home for the day so she doesn't learn. Education is more important than dancing. Is she going to be a professional pop dancer? I don't know. Probably not. Yeah. I'm just excited to hang out with her more, have her home more, spend more time with her. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. all that stuff. So. She looks excited. We're excited. Yeah. Next question. Do you think you're at a point where you would like to quit filming? Please say yes. Ooh. That's a good question. Uh, yes. I'll, I'll keep it kind of short. Is it no? <laughs> In the sense of like. She's like, yeah, let's. Look at that, guys. Way back when, remember, just us three, we filmed three videos a week just because it was so easy. She wasn't even in school. Dance was like not really much. So I was like, we're gonna go to Disneyland. We're just gonna have like so much fun. Like we're young. We have like we're just gonna film everything. And I had have so much fun doing it. Yeah. Um. And then we had Posey, and life got a little bit harder. She started going to school, dancing more. She's like, okay, let's do two videos a week. Let's do one video a week. Yeah. Now let's just film. Now just leave the internet. Nobody likes you here. You don't even go here anymore. Please leave. Whenever something's happened. Something now it's been three no weeks. Time. So it's hard to film a Q and I don't think that we'd ever purposefully quit because we do enjoy it we all like it it's, it's fun to do and um but it when you look y'all look real excited we really like it mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> joe biden walks <laughs> four kids but it, is four nice. it's it is nice doing less of it yeah right? so i don't think we ever quit but they must have businesses or real estate or some kind of investments on the side because again they made millions on this platform millions of dollars and they don't have any vices they don't party they don't drink they do vac they did vacations probably wrote it all off but they have investments if they stopped on the internet they would be fine they have money probably a massive nest egg somewhere they're good to go that's what i'm saying like they're not poor if they stopped they'd be fine they're just doing this because the narcissistic you know dopamine hits 
much less. Yeah. <laughs> How do you find Which is weird because no one likes them anymore. Like it's all hate now. Time for your relationship with so many kids. Every mm. how do we? Why are you asking her? That's not the question. We have so many kids. How would you say we're good about putting our relationship first? This is a cool question to ask it really. Hot and good. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're hugging a lot. I don't know. This kid, okay, there's not a natural answer. If I were to ask Everly, Everly, what, how do you think that mommy and I feel about each other? She would give you an answer. Oh, I love it. They get it. She would give it be articulate because we show that these people, this daughter, Everly doesn't know anything. It's, and I'm not, it's not making fun of Everly. It's they're forcing this because behind the scenes is nothing like they show you. That's how we find time. We just make sure we hug each other. We do. We, 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 do. Each other. we hug each other a lot. Um, I mean, we, we try we're to get on date things. nights, right? We go on dates. We make sure that we put the kids to bed at a certain time. Our kids aren't up yes. all night with us. I'd say that's a big thing. And we don't... Okay, so normal parenting things? Cool. ...usually have any kids in our bed. I'm kind of bad this about This guy has been letting Posey in our bed. She's just sneaking. She gets bad... 5 she, gets, she gets bad growing pains. <laughs> She's bad. Tell her to go back in her bed. She gets bad growing pains. I'm with you, man. Weston's been sneaking into our bed at 2 o'clock in the morning for the last five years. It's just... It's... It's about time we locked the door once and he flipped. So, try to figure it out. It's not every night, but it's like, holy cow, Weston. You're 15, it's time to like, that's what's gonna be like. Dude, I'm sorry, man, you have a beard now. You can't sleep in our bed anymore. Hey, he's not bad, he's a guy. All right, next question. What has God been showing you during this time? Mm. So let's think about uh, mm, like, like, Let's see. Like two months. Like, well, we got a really good boost on our baby content. That was nice. Thanks, Jesus. Big events, like since like zeal and seizures. I feel like health is so big. Mm -hmm. Like how lucky you are to be healthy. Yeah. How blessed you are to be healthy. Yeah. You know, I'm fast healthy. forwarding this one. What's this one? You gonna go to public school or? These are bad questions. No. Yes. So long. Best parenting skill. What do you think my best? What do you think is the other's best parenting skill? What do you think my best parenting skill? You is? are just like you're like the best friend and stuff and checkers and stuff. Like I know if I leave the kids with him, nothing bad will happen to them. <laughs> That's his parenting skill. His kids won't die if you if he's with them. That's his best parenting skill. Really? Wow. Thanks, honey. That was really nice. <laughs> That's like a lot of like <laughs> pressure. A lot of pressure. Well, that was like a lot of pressure in front of you. But That's I silly. If your best parenting is that your kids don't die when they're with you, uh, that's not good enough. You need to do other things. I really do feel like like if I leave the kids with them, they're not going to get hurt. They're not going to anything crazy. Yeah. That's what you came up with of all the shit you could say? He, you know what? He's really, really good at like getting on their level and playing with them because they have the same mentality. They're not gonna fall in the pool. Yeah. Nothing like anything bad that could happen. She's just, like okay. She's just like now. She's on the grade nine like paper. It's just to fill. I think it was like stuff and things. Happen. He just like <laughs> watches them like a hawk, and like I do too. But he's just like on another level. Mm hmm. Yeah. Great. Like, he watches the children so they don't die. Amazing parenting level. Nine thousand. If my back was turned for half a second, he's like, "Was your back turned?" Yeah. You know? Really? That seems excessive. Dad, that like if my kid Your back was turned for half a second? How dare you? I was sneezing. I don't care. No back turning. He's at a park. Like, I know where each one of them are at all times. Yeah. That's because your kids are a target on the internet. Well, thank God you are doing that, but that's because your kids are a target and you know it. So much so that I don't, I don't even have a conversation like with another parent. Yeah. I get frustrated. Like, like other parents can try to talk to me. I'm like, ah, I'm watching my kids. Mm-hmm. Ah, ah. mm -hmm. You could live a normal life, though, but you don't. You chose not to. <laughs> It's really cool. That's like, hi, cool. Can we talk as another parent? Excuse me. I'm st I cannot turn away. If I turn away for half a second, then I'm a hypocrite. Savannah really is the best mom. I, 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 I say all the time, like, nope. I grew up in a family of six. I have siblings that are just a few years older than Everly. So, like, I didn't really grow up, like, thinking about, like, oh, I can't wait to be a dad. Sherry's had kids in the last 10 years? Ew. Really? Because I'm always around like, little kids, you know what I mean? I, I, grew, I couldn't wait to be a husband. Like, she was my first, like, real relationship and, like, my first love. So, like, that's what I look forward to, which I love being a dad. Like, I, that has, you just answered the question. Literally turned the question about him. Me, I, 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 my family, me, I, like, I love being a dad. And, uh, no, the question was, what makes her a good mom? I tell Savannah all the time, thank you so much for making me a dad younger than I was expecting to. You know, life is unexpected. <laughs> the answer is... What makes Savannah a good mom? She made me a dad younger than I expected to. Okay, sex then? And I'm so thankful for how it turned out. But Savannah always looked forward to being a mom. Like since she was like a baby. Like, That's not answering the question. You suck at this, dude. Little girl is getting way too long.
but all she wanted to be, do and be was a mom, and mm -hmm. she is just the best mom in the world. Like her life is just no. You don't get to say this when you exploit your children. The end. Being a mom, so mm -hmm. it's hard for me to say like what her best quality is because she's just so intentional. <laughs> all that matters is her kids and she's just money and fame. Best. She really is the best. I can't think. We of don't her. believe you. She's just super intentional with everything. Okay. Does Zealand yeah. have to get checkups at the doctor after what happened? So no. Sure. no. We see baby Sunday's nursery. Oh yeah. <laughs> we got a new nursery walkthrough. Really. It's probably a piece of foam on the floor. The third kid or the fourth or whatever they're on right now, that kid doesn't get shit. Right. The first kid, it's like the whole pimped out room it's got like a roller coaster in it it's like disco balls and lights and things like that and a little flash all the good toys second kid a couple of hand-me-downs a couple of little things at least they have a crib third kid pff, f you buddy okay you can sleep in a drawer we don't care fourth kid they just it just has to fend for itself i don't even know where it is <laughs> i think it's here where are you it's in the cheerios or something that's the fourth kid that's what's happening here so they don't want to show you the nursery because it probably looks like literally a closet with a piece of foam much yeah it's, it's, it just posies old this stuff posies left over. and i haven't really done I it. called this posies old shit yeah just because she's still sleeping next to our bed yeah um but maybe once i like spice it up a little bit well, and, she's, and, she's gonna, well, and she's well she's in a share room with posies room. she gets like yeah one and a half. you guys are millionaires and your kids share rooms okay two Posey had the bunk beds so it's like you know, that's yeah, weird. That's the point I make my just super we'll show it to you in the next vlog. Yeah, no, we don't care. Special. What's the thing that stresses you most out as parents? I'm a new mom and feel like I'm a crazy lady. I, I can okay. relate this, to this. This is what stresses no. me out the most. And this is going to be funny to a lot of people. What stresses me out the most is not giving each kid their own special attention. What? Like my, I feel always. like my mind constantly is thinking like, okay, this kid needs a date. Okay, this kid needs me to play dinosaurs with them right now. Okay, this kid needs me to color with them. Okay, this one needs me to sit and cuddle them while I watch a show. Like my mind is constantly thinking like, yeah. who did I do that last with? Or okay, okay now they're just faking it, guys. No parents. Okay, I get what they're trying to say. Like, um, but at, at some point you just gotta like survive, right? Survive. Like feed them. Like, cool. Like, she's so impressed that they didn't die. Just don't die. That's it. Then you're good. Four kids? I think they have three. They have three? Everly, Zealand, Posey Sunday. They have four. So four. They're on four. Stop having kids, man. I need to go be intentional and drop Everly off at dance and talk with her in the car instead of cool doing it today because he did it yesterday. Like, yeah. there's like all yeah, of the things. I don't like doing any of that shit. That just we, I feel like I'm constantly doing. Or like, now she needs a cool date. Now you need a mom date. Yeah. You know, yeah. and now, now she needs to go see her bio dad because that's important too, right? It's important for her to keep a relationship with her bio dad, right? You gonna say that? And is that in there? Um, me and Cole need a date. <laughs> Cole and I. I, I feel like I'm Cole and I. In my head. I would say my stuff is health related. Yeah. Like for, for sure. the, the kid sicknesses. It, it has. It's really been a season in my life. Season. Yep. Say season again. <laughs> Fast forwarding. It's a win-win because we get her for both. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next question. Oh, I thought this was. Paranoid. Yeah, I, I love them more than life, and I could not imagine something bad happening to them. Okay, next question. Um, do you guys have a nanny? It's a good question. Ha! Ah! No. Liars. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you're lying. I think I've answered this in a couple like Instagram story questions before. I don't but believe you. We do not have a nanny. We have an assistant. Oh, okay, you're just playing semantics now. Okay. Um, that that's actually who's babysitting downstairs. So. Also known as a nanny, you <laughs> dingbats. And she'll occasionally babysit for us, like if we are doing this mm -hmm. or so you didn't hire a babysitter you're using your assistant as a nanny and who also does your day-to-day -day things imagine that that's called a nanny dumbass we'll go on a date. Um, and so she's our go-to also uh, <laughs> so she's a nanny that just kind of helps like keep life organized yeah. with all okay first of all you don't have any i hate this you don't have jobs literally this is your job to sit in front of a camera you don't do anything else so, what do you mean keep your life organized? You don't do anything! Oh, yeah. And she's great with babysitting. The kids love her. Um, oh, she, the kids she's, adore her. Yeah. So she's... Also known as... So she's a nanny! Who then does other things for you? It's a win-win because we get her for both. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next question. Oh, I thought this was a good one. Does Everly have a cell phone? She does not. <laughs> We've seen many videos with her with a cell phone. <laughs> he said it so proudly. She does not. No. I don't believe you, liars. <laughs> I don't say it proudly, but I feel like. It's proudly in a word. <laughs> <laughs> so proudly. <laughs> <laughs> funny.
<laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> okay, no, she does not have a phone. She has an iPod. Um, That's the same thing. It's literally the same thing. The only thing it can't do is make calls. But it probably can do that too. The... <laughs> That's, again, more semantics from these people. They're just like, no, no, we don't have a nanny. We have a person that we hire that watches our kids. It's not a nanny. It's an assistant. That's a nanny. She doesn't have a phone. She has an iPod that does everything an iPhone does, except make calls. Okay? Semantics. She's a little nuts about the whole phone thing. Mm -hmm. oh. Totally fine if your kid has a phone. I just, for my kid, I Oh, my God. You're so phone. stupid. She has uh, literally has a phone. It's for all intents and purposes. Just wait until she's a bit older. Um... We don't have like any Safari, social media, nothing. I have like limits on her iPod. Mm. And she's like totally mm -hmm. cool with it. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Is like That's because your whole life is on social media. So you're just admitting right here that she doesn't even see the comments, which is great, but you monitor them and you see all that stuff and yet you don't seem to care. So you make all the posts for your kid. Since that's just kind of what she knows, she's cool with it. And I'm like she'll be like, all of my friends have phones and I'm the only one that doesn't. And she, that's kind of it. She doesn't really care. It's whatever. So she, boring. No, she's gonna Next. Mm -hmm. Would you accept them? She gets her iPod time too and we'll FaceTime her friends. And I like this question a lot. I'm gonna sit up right for it. If your kids did not believe in Jesus anymore, would you accept them to change religion? Um, I, 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 stupid question. I think I know what you're saying. Yeah. And, and I've had this come up several times because as you guys know, we're followers of Jesus. We're Christian, love the Lord, and we're raising our kids that way. As also, we're raising them online for predators. Just saying. As every Christian parent should. Um, mm -hmm. It's what the Bible instructs. It's as Christians, we believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, that, that the fact that Jesus died on the cross, came back to life, and rose from the dead. But we don't believe in the other things like giving away your wealth, helping other people. We don't know that nah, stuff. We believe in taking advantage of other people, though. Again, stop professing that you are a Christian Bible-believing couple when your whole world, everything that you show us, including all of the lies, clickbait and everything, is absolutely at odds with everything that you are saying right here. What this makes you is a flaming hypocrite, by the way. When you say you're one thing, yet your actions are another thing. That is crazy. So people who are Christians will be like, ah! So, and people who aren't Christian be like, well, they are hypocrites. Why would I want to be a part of that? You are detrimental to the whole thing. That's what I'm saying. Uh, he is the only way to heaven. That's what the Bible teaches. And that's what, that's what we believe. Um, you, you believe what, what, what you want to believe. We're going to tell you what, what we believe. You don't have to do anything with it. I As someone don't who believes believe you. that Jesus is the only way to heaven, I would be doing my kids a total disservice if I would either be lying to them or not believing it myself if I didn't teach them that Jesus is the only way to heaven yeah. and that, um, you know, he is savior. He is love. He is joy. He is all the fruits of the spirit. So I'm like, yeah, you, you're going to sit there and teach your children about doing all this stuff. And yet your actions will be the complete opposite. When it comes down to it, when they see what you guys have put on the internet and everything else, the expectation and the, and the, the predators and all that kind of stuff, you think that your kids are going to, when they get older, are going to embrace that? Or are they going to be like, I don't want anything to do with that. That's what's going to happen. Right, you're, you're, you guys, and they know what goes on behind the camera. We don't, and it's likely ten times worse. What you show us is bad. So imagine what we don't, what you don't show us. I teach my kids everything that I am, and live it out as best I can. That Jesus is um, the way. You okay, know? we got that. Answer the question, though. Don't now, if I if I do everything that I can in their childhood and upbringing, and they're like, I just don't want anything to do with that, Dad. Then I'm gonna be like, okay. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. You're always welcome in my home. Um, <laughs> As if to, uh, but you're still welcome here if you want. Okay, thanks. Nothing will change. I, I, I'm never going to stop telling you how much I love Jesus and how much I think he is the way. But I'm not going to like shove it down your throat and like, be like obnoxious about it. My, my mom, she's not a believer. She's open about it. She was at one point, walked away from her faith. And that's that. And we have a great relationship. Mm-hmm. She's welcome in our house. She's loved nothing. Yeah, it's nice of you. Welcome your mom and your house. Change. We're not like, oh, she's not a Christian. So like, you're not part of the family anymore. And, and it, it would be the same with any of my kids. I will love them. Un okay, we got it. Next. This is crazy. Totally honest, so, and, and I, don't say well, I, just, I just know it's not the truth. So yeah. I just don't. That'll be Expected fun. vlog. We have a really cool birthday present yeah. for him. I always, always, I, I, I'll, I'll make Zillan look at me and I'll, and I'll say two things. I'll say, Zillan, look at daddy. Zillan, look at me. I love you. I want him to look me in the eyes and say, I say, I love you. He goes, I love you. And then I'll say, you're a good boy, Zealand. And recently, so, just recently. Good boy, Dada. Okay. So you talk to your kid like a dog? Cool. Awesome. Anyway, that was shitty. Sorry, guys.
It wasn't very snarky. That was really boring. These people content is just It sucks. But we gotta talk about it. You guys wanted me to, so I did. It was terrible. These people are terrible. Stop watching them. Stop giving them social media currency. Start calling them out for their shitty behavior because they profess Christian and then they do the other opposite thing, which is again, right at its core, exploitation is a sin. It's a sin. Taking advantage of others for monetary gain, that's like stealing. And giving away their privacy and everything else, it's like giving something that doesn't belong to you. These people are gross, but take a deep breath. Yeah, that's nice. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Keep snarking out there. Send me some more videos. We got a whole week here. Let's see what you guys want me to snark on. Leave a comment right below to the side or whatever, and I'll see if I like the video. Link me a video that would be like, hey, check out this one obscure family. Link, you gotta link it, man, so I can see it. I'll take a look at it for sure. But I hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget how valuable and incredible you are. And I will see you tomorrow.